yo what's going on hope you're doing amazing my name is wavy and today we are blood runecrafting in zaya let me tell you it's probably a lot more chill than you might think right before we get started guys 70 percent of my viewers are not subscribed if you want to help me out as a content creator i'm grinding content just smash that sub button let's get into the video the only requirements to start runecrafting blood runes is going to be 77 runecrafting highly recommending 73 agility in addition to that we're going to need 100 percent archaeus favor the fastest way to get here and the most efficient is going to be using the Archaeus Spellbook and using our home teleport. If you're not there yet, you can use the Fairy Ring after paying 80k, code CIS, and if not that, run south from Winter Toad or you pick whatever works for you. For our inventory and gear, let me tell you, we don't need much. In the event, only a chisel. And for our gear, weight reducing clothing, we're going to want any teleport out, ring of dueling, glory, and then any pickaxe is going to suffice. One quick plug-in before we start the run. If you are not already using GPU, let's turn it on in Runelight, and we were going to want to make sure that our draw distance is turned to the maximum of 90. This will help us greatly make runecrafting way more AFK. Alright guys, we know how to get here, we know how to gear our inventory, let's get into a blood rune run. So I'm a little east here of where you do the home teleport on the RKS spellbook, and I'm going to run towards this agility shortcut. And then once we make it to the shortcut, obviously we're going to want to use it and head towards the dense runestone. And once we are over at the dense runestone, we want to mine a full inventory of dense essence blocks. In this area, there are three shortcuts, the most important one from the blood altar at 73, then one at 52, and the better one to the north at 69. When we are mining, sometimes the dense runestone will deplete. You can either wait for it to turn white and be full again, or you can just run to the opposite one. When our first inventory is full, let's run north to the agility shortcut and use it as we did before. After using the shortcut, we want to run west to the dark altar. And if you have your plugin set up correctly, we can just do this in one click to go all the way there. Once we are here, let's click on the dark altar and we are going to get dark essence in place of our dense essence. Now let's use the chisel on it and we can do it AFK in place at the altar or we can begin to run our way back and chisel on the way there. One is more efficient, one's more AFK, you pick whatever one works for you. After we're done chiseling, use the shortcut again, and let's mine another full inventory. And when that second inventory is full, let's run north to the shortcut again and head to the altar. Once we reach the dark altar, we're going to want to click on it, same as before, but now we are going to want to run south to the blood altar, and you can one click this by angling your camera and clicking all the way up there. Once you click on the other side of the fence on the little ridge, you should start to auto path up here and the blood altar is just south over this mountain here. I have a tile marked because you can click it early and begin to path all the way there again, which will make it more AFK, but it doesn't really matter. We're just going to want to walk there and get there somehow. And once we reach the blood altar, all we got to do is click on it. Then we're going to get a big XP drop in from here. We want to chisel the rest of our dark essence blocks and click on it again for the last XP drop. Once we finish our last inventory of essence, we are going to want to leave and start this process over. Now there's an agility shortcut here requiring 73, almost essential for blood rune crafting. That's why we need it. We're going to want to go east and head down this and right back to the mines. We can begin the process over again. Two inventories back and forth, back to the blood altar. You know the deal. And just like that, guys, that has been everything you need to know to get started on blood rune crafting is a 77 rune crafting required. I know we're all trying to hit that level. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you want to see more content like this, hit that sub button, smash like, it helps me out. Hit Noti Bell if you're a beast. I'm uploading all the time, constant content for you guys. Thanks for coming, stopping by. I'm about to here. Later.